Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, little learners. Welcome back to our learning space. My name is Miss Laura. Can you tell me your name? I'm so excited that you made it back today. Let's start off with our song. Here we go. Ready? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Let's meet someone new now. Do you remember the name of our special friend this week? Yes, it's Scaredy Snail. Here he is. Let me put him on. He's so excited to greet you this morning. Hello. Oh, you don't want to talk today? What happened? Oh, yes, there was a loud noise outside yesterday. Do you remember we've been learning about loud noises that come from the sky? They're called thunder and lightning. You might see them when you see rain. Oh, did that scare you? Well, there's no need to be scared, friend. They're just noises. They don't hurt you. Would you like to learn one of our calm down strategies? Oh, you want to go back in your shell? Let's put him away. We're going to spin our wheel of calm. Our friend needs us. Here we go. Oh, look at our calming toolkit. Now remember, boys and girls, this is a basket that Miss Laura has here but you can create many of these tools at home. So you can use a shoe box and add many of these strategies in. So a lot of these things I bought at stores where things just cost a dollar. So I have this colorful thing, it's called a fidget. So if you're ever in a place where you need to be very calm, like at a doctor's office, or if your parent is asking you to be very calm, you can play with this and keep your fingers moving, but your body calm. Or I have these fun things here. Another little fidget that's colorful. Just gotta show you this one. And look at this guy. He is a caterpillar and he's very stretchy. Now you can do a couple of things with this guy. You can stretch him out for your breathing or another fun thing you can do to calm down is count. So look, one, two, three, four, five. You can count all of his body segments. So I keep a little toolbox like this as an adult at home too. It helps calm me down. Now it's time for us to check in and see how you're feeling. So let me grab my letter board here and you're going to help me pick out what letter mirror I'm going to use. Are you ready? So the first thing I'm going to need is a big line. I'm going to put it right here. And of course, my happy face is always happy because I give them a little tickle. And then I'm going to need a big curve. Put them down right here. Do you recognize this letter? It might be your special letter. It's the letter D, that's right. So let me grab my letter D mirror right here and we're gonna check on our emotional check-in. Do you see those emojis there? Which one matches how you're feeling? Now I want you to sing along with Shy Bunny and me while we sing the fun song. If you're happy and you know it, let's sing together. Ready? Get ready to sing along with me. And Shy Bunny. Shy Bunny doesn't like to sing, but maybe if we sing with him, he'll sing along too. If you're angry and you know it, say I'm mad, I'm mad. If you're angry and you know it, say I'm mad, I'm mad. If you're angry and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're angry and you know it, say I'm mad, I'm mad. No, and say, oh no, oh no. If you're scared and you know it, say, oh no, oh no. If you're scared and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're scared and you know it, say, oh no, oh no. 
If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Our feelings are so important. Thank you, Shy Bunny. I hope you had fun singing with Shy Bunny. Maybe one day he'll sing along. Now don't forget, boys and girls, you have to check in on how you're feeling. That really helps your brain in learning. And don't forget to check in on those around you like your grandparents. So today we have a very special friend. Her name is Lucien. See, special letter L for Lucien. Lucien, we have the same special letter, hello. Now she sent this picture in because she got to go to the snow. Now boys and girls, snow is something that happens when rain freezes and it covers the ground. And if you're very lucky, you get to go play in it. Now let's see, how do we think Lucien is feeling? I wonder, let's look at her face for clues. Her eyes are bright and it looks like she has a big smile on her face. Hmm, do you think that she's feeling jealous? Hmm, or do you think that she's feeling happy? Make the face that you think she's feeling. Let me take a look. Ooh, I see a lot of happy faces. I think she's feeling happy too. I would be if I got to play in the snow. Now I'd love to include your picture and story. Boys and girls, send it to the address below and we'll air it here on PBS. And as a special bonus, you get a fancy sticker and activity book from PBS if you send in your address too. All right, let's see. It's time for me to ring my bell here and check on our visual schedule. We did our emotional check-in going to do our weekly investigation. So we're learning all about the book Thunder Cake and we got to read a little bit of it yesterday. And then it's going to be time to sing our goodbye song. Does that sound like a good plan? All right, let's get our movement card going and we'll move over to our intentional message. And I think we'll have time to sing our umbrella song too. So ready? When I flip this card over, there's going to be a letter and a movement that starts this, that starts with that letter. Ready? Here we go. Da 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 da. Letter S for spin. Spin like a tornado. Ooh, I don't know if I can spin. I'll get very dizzy, but I think my hands can. Are you ready? Get your hands, and we're going to spin them Ooh, like a tornado. Here we go. All right, let's walk up to our intentional message. Are you dizzy hands? I hope not. Here we go. Our focus text is Thunder Cake by Patricia Poloco. The book is about a little girl that learns to overcome her fear of thunderstorms. Now, do you have something that you're scared of? Maybe you're scared of a thunderstorm. Maybe it's the dark or a spider. In our story, the little girl was afraid of noise. And do you remember her babushka did something to help her feel better? That's right, they made a cake. Now something that helps me feel better is seeing the song. So let's walk over back to our chair. I'll grab my umbrella and we'll sing our special song together before we go to STEM with Miss Sarah. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Let me grab my song here, I'll put it on my lap. I don't know if we'll have time to do it in English and Spanish, but I'll put my umbrella high. Do you feel that? Is it sprinkling where you are? It goes like this. Come under my umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Come under my umbrella. It's starting to rain with thunder and lightning and thunder and lightning. Come under my umbrella, it's starting to rain. Now I want you to think, where does rain come from? I think Miss Sarah has a story and an activity that she's going to share that's going to help us see that. Let's watch her video together. Hi friends, it's time for STEM. That's right, it's time for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So come with me, Miss Sarah, as we explore new ideas and learn new things. 
I got the idea for today's STEM activity as I was enjoying all the rain we got here in the valley. As long as humans have been growing food, we've tried to predict the weather. Back then, we needed people to tell other people what they saw to help us track the weather. However, because of the awesomeness of science and technology, we now have radar, satellites, and supercomputers to help us. Science and technology help us to know what to expect so we can be ready for it. Recently, we had a lot of rain. Some places got so much rain that the streets filled with water. We also got a whole lot of snow in our mountains. Rain comes from heavy clouds that are filled with water. Snow happens when it's so cold that the rain freezes into little snowflakes. Eventually, all that snow in the mountains will melt and come down to us here in the valley through rivers and creeks. That water helps add to our water supply that we can use to water crops and plants, to take baths, drink, cook, and so much more. If you're lucky, when it stops raining, you might even see a rainbow. All this extreme weather got me thinking, how do clouds get water and what makes it rain or snow? For today's STEM activity, we're going to make it rain in a jar. The materials you will need are water, blue food dye, a jar, a sponge, a dropper or squeeze bottle, a tray, and some paper towels. The first thing I did was find a container for the water. I used an old ketchup bottle I found in my recycling. I filled it with water and added some food coloring. Then I placed my jar into a pan with paper towels on the bottom of it to catch any spills. After that, I placed my sponge on top of the jar. My sponge is going to act like a cloud. It's going to fill with water, and when it becomes too heavy, the water will start to rain down into the jar. I added a little bit of water at a time. Finally, the sponge was so full of water, it began to drip down into the jar, just like rain drips down from the clouds. So how does the rain cycle work? The sun heats the water in our ocean. The water evaporates into the air and is lifted up to the clouds. Unfortunately, the water drops are so small we can't see this happening. The clouds begin to fill with the water droplets that come together to make bigger droplets, just like our sponge got full with water. The cloud is full of water and it gets heavy and begins to rain. What did we learn today? We learned that rain and snow give us water to use for many different things. We learned about the rain cycle, that the sun causes water to evaporate and fill the clouds. When the clouds become heavy with water, it rains, or if it's really cold, it snows. We learned a super duper vocabulary word, evaporation, when water is warmed by the sun and floats up into the clouds. Thanks for joining me today and see you next time on STEM with Miss Sarah. Thank you, Miss Sarah, for that wonderful video. Let's ring our bell. Let's see, we did our emotional check-in, we're focused on our book, and now it's time to sing our goodbye song. If I don't get to finish it, you just keep singing, okay? Here we go. A, B, see you later. D, E, F, G, I'm gonna miss ya. H, I have to go now. J, K, bye-bye now. L, N, N, O, I had a good time. P, Q, are you gonna miss me? S, T, you are my best friend. V, W, X, Y, Z, and you are, you're my very best friend. Don't forget to come back tomorrow, boys and girls. We'll see you then, goodbye. A brand new day, time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for everyone.